Hello, my name is Avnish and my topic for our project in natural language processing is sentiment analysis of restaurant reviews. What is it? Sentiment analysis is a natural language processing task that involves classifying text according to the sentiment it expresses. The goal of sentiment analysis is to determine whether the sentiment expressed in the text is positive, negative or neutral. This information can be used to understand people's opinions, attitudes and emotions about a particular topic and to gauge the overall sentiment of a body of text. For this project, I will be attempting to analyze the sentiments expressed in the form of restaurant reviews. Examples So let's assume there are uh, three reviews for a restaurant. Alice says, I had an amazing time at this restaurant. The food was delicious and the service was top notch. I'll definitely be coming again back soon. This is a positive review. She mentions food was delicious, the service was top notch and that she will return to the restaurant soon. Meanwhile. Bob says, I was extremely disappointed by my experience at this restaurant. The food was overcooked and bland, and the service was slow and inattentive. I will not be returning. This is a negative review. He claims that he was disappointed by the experience. The food, the food was overcooked and bland, and the service was slow and inattentive. He further goes and says that he will not be coming back to this restaurant. Now, Chad has something else to say. He says, I visited this restaurant for lunch and had a decent experience. The food was fine, but nothing particularly special. The service was friendly and efficient. Overall, it was an okay experience. He says the food was fine, but not special. The service was friendly and efficient, and it was an okay experience. Chad was not impressed by the restaurant. Maybe he had higher expectations from the reviews he did. Hence, it will be classified as a neutral response. This is a review for a restaurant taken from TripAdvisor. Hillary says that she chose this restaurant because of its proximity to Cliffs Old Park. She mentions what food they ate and sa says it was very good. This is a positive review. Alex says that the food is mediocre and the service is terrible. He had to wait for 40 minutes for his food to arrive and even then, not all of the food arrived. So, this is a negative review. <clears throat> Why sentiment analysis? Sentiment analysis is important because it allows us to understand how people feel about a particular topic. This can be especially useful in industries that rely on customer feedback, such as retail, hospitality, and financial services. For example, a company might use sentiment analysis to understand how people feel about its products, services, or brand. This can help the company identify areas for improvement and make decisions about how to better serve its customers. Sentiment analysis can also be useful in social media analysis, where it can be used to understand how people feel about a particular event, news article, or public figure. This can help organizations and individuals gauge public opinion and make informed decisions. Overall, sentiment analysis, is, sentiment analysis is an important tool for understanding and interpreting human emotions and opinions and can be useful in a variety of applications. Why is sentiment analysis important? Sentiment analysis is important for restaurants for several reasons. 1. Improving customer experience by analyzing the sentiment of customer reviews, restaurants can identify areas where they need to improve their customer experience. For example, if customers com consistently mention slow service or rude staff, the restaurant can take steps to address these issues and improve their overall customer satisfaction. Increasing revenue. Positive reviews can attract more customers and increase revenue, while negative reviews can have the opposite effect. By analyzing the Sentiment of customer reviews, restaurants can identify areas where they are excelling and areas where they need to improve to increase revenue. 3. Brand Reputation Management Customer reviews can have a significant importance on a restaurant's reputation. By analyzing the sentiment of customer reviews, restaurants can monitor their online reputation and respond to negative reviews in a timely and appropriate manner. Number 4. Competitive Advantage by analyzing the sentiment of customer reviews, restaurants can compare themselves to their competitor, competitors and identify areas where they can differentiate themselves. For example, if customers consistently praise the quality of the food at one restaurant, that re restaurant can use that as a competitive advantage over other restaurants in the area. Overall, sentiment analysis can provide restaurants with valuable insights into their, into their customer experience help them make data-driven decisions and ultimately improve their overall business performance. So this is an example of how sentiment analysis of a system sentence works. Alice says, the food was excellent, better than any Italian restaurant I've visited. 
we can have a dictionary of all the positive and negative words so we can count the score so to say for the sentence so excellent would be one point and so would be better that gives us a score of positive two for the sentence meaning the sentence is positive which is correct but this does not work all of the time here bob says the food was not bad you can visit the restaurant the dictionary would see that the words not and bad were used which without context are indeed negative so this gives the sentence a score of negative 2 but the sentence is not negative the two negatives cancel each other out the review is neutral our project we will be performing sentiment analysis of restaurant reviews in python the libraries that will be used are numpy pandas nltk re sklearn matplotlib and seaborn pandas will be used to read a tsv file to create a data frame of all the reviews and a column with 0 or 1 to determine whether the review is positive or not. Then the NLTK library will be used to download all the stop words and regex to remove the words from each review that are matching with the list of stop words and then perform portest MR algorithm from the NLTK library. Sklearn will be used to train the model to learn from all the, un, uh, from all the sanitized reviews and determine how each review is positive or negative. And finally, matplotlib and seaborn will be used to plot a heat map of the confusion matrix. So that is all. Thank you. Okay, I'm record it. Don't do it. Okay. So now for the code implementation. Here I'm using NumPy and Pandas. So we are creating a data frame from the CSV file uh, that I've provided here, which looks something like this. So one column is for reviews and the other is liked. One is positive review and zero is negative review. So wow love this place would be positive and crust is not good is negative. It contains about 1000 uh, reviews. And we can see the shape of this file is 1000 columns, 1000 rows and 2 columns. The data frames columns are review and liked. And head shows what the data file looks like. So these are the reviews, these are the liked or disliked. And here I'm importing NLTK to download the stop words and also using port stemmer. Here I uh, convert the reviews to lowercase to make it easier to process and then split them by space. And this creates an array of review words. And here I'm checking if each uh, word in the array is in the list of stop words in English. And if it is, it removes them from the array, otherwise it keeps it. And this is the port stemmer algorithm. This also shortens the reviews to make it easier to process. And I'm creating a corpus. Uh, this is what it looks like. Then I'm using count factorizer with max features of 1500 to fit the model to the training data. And here I'm using sklearn. Here I'm using a naive Bayes algorithm uh, to fit the training data to the model. So this is. And then I'm using the classifier to predict what it thinks the answer could be. So if it is positive or negative. These are just metrics. So accuracy score, precision score, recall score. Here I've created a confusion matrix. This is what it looks like. And I've plotted it on a graph to make it easier to understand. So these are the predicted values, what the model thinks the review is, if it is negative or positive. And about 22 reviews, about 22% of the time, it thought that the review was negative, but in fact, it was positive. Then about 81% of the time, it thought it, the review was negative, positive, and it actually was positive. Here it thought uh, 
72 percent of the time it thought it was negative and it actually was and 25 percent of the time it thought it was positive but it actually was negative here i'm testing which alpha value is gives the highest accuracy score so from 0 0.1 to 1 and we get that the best accuracy is 78.5 percent with alpha value is 0.2 so here i've set alpha value is 0.2 and then training the model again. This is a function uh, exactly like the first one, this one right here. And I can call it uh, on any particular function sentence like this. So sample review is the food is really good here. And this returns what the prediction of the model is. So this, if this part is true, then it will return that this is a positive review. Otherwise, it will return that this is a negative review. So this returns a positive, and here we can see food was pretty bad and the service was very slow. And this returns this is a negative review. And same here, the food was absolutely wonderful from preparation to presentation, very pleasing. And this is a positive review. So that's all. Thank you.